I started out today thinking I was going to make a video about photography methods. The methods you use when you look at a scene. The methods you can use when you take a photo. But while I was out taking photos, I started to look up. I looked up and I saw shapes, patterns. I felt small. Today I am out using a very wide angle lens. It's a lens that I bought a few months ago, but haven't had the chance to really explore its uses. There is something so extremely satisfying about taking a very wide lens and simply pointing it up. It exaggerates. It makes basic figures tower over you in a haunting and beautiful way. You find ways to create these shapes by turning or spinning on your heels. You try and separate the interesting patterns and shapes, but to also apply texture, complexities, and balance. I'm using a TT Artisan 10mm f2 lens on a crop sensor body, my Fujifilm X-T5. That gives you roughly a 15mm field of view when converting it to a full frame equivalent. It's a lens that makes you want to be close to things, big things. Things that minimize your stature while growing their stature. I spent most of today looking up, reaching for something that I could not ever physically reach myself. But by getting close to these giants, I was able to bring them closer to me. Getting close to these statuesque figures, I was able to slow down and reflect. Sometimes when you are feeling small, it is the best time to do great things. And these things don't need to be great for everyone. They simply need to be great for you. Taking the time to make an effort. Taking that time to examine what's inside by examining what is outside. By picking up a camera, you are picking up a piece of yourself. And by taking photos, you are capturing a piece of yourself. Your memories, your experiences, your vision. You take a piece of yourself and you hold it in your hand. An imperfect moment held in semi-permanence. So, how do you reflect? What is its purpose? What is its significance from one shot to another? One moment to another? For the past couple of years, I believe I've been coming to an answer that isn't exactly new, but it may be life-altering for some. Photography is about sharing. Sometimes those moments are shared with others. Sometimes those moments are shared with yourself. And now it is your choice whether to share that piece of yourself with others, or keep that piece of yourself to yourself. There are so many reasons to document and share your vision with the world. But, at the same time, there's so much to be learned, reflected upon, and understood. The challenge, at least for me, is to not try and derive meaning out of every little thing and to truly appreciate creativity and expression as an integral part of me, like breathing, or going on long-winded monologues. At this point, I would like to say how much I appreciate having a platform to express myself. Somewhere I can show those pieces of myself and feel as though I'm actually saying something. And I wouldn't be able to do that without an audience like you, so thank you. This video is a little return to form. I've been trying to expand what I do on this channel, 
but I also don't want to get rid of the core elements that inspired this channel to begin with. It is extremely humbling to get even the small amount of views that I do on this channel. So for that, I'll say thank you again. Of course, please remember to like and subscribe, and let me know what type of meaning that you get out of photography, even if it's small or seemingly insignificant. And, of course, until next time, adios.